Hi, welcome to R&D Movie Talk. My name is Ron, and today we're going to be talking about the Dollar Tree sale, the last week in November. Um, I guess this would, was their Black Friday sale. Um, they seem to have gotten in a lot more titles, uh, new titles that hasn't been in their stores before. So let's dive in, and uh, I'll show you what I picked up this uh, go-around. Uh, starting off first, uh, this series, I've only seen the first movie in the series and I kind of gave up on it, but for a buck a piece, um, I picked them up. Twilight Eclipse, and as you can see there, this was a, what, $27 title at Blockbuster. I may get around to watching this series, maybe not. One day on board, I may check them out. Um, with that, we got Breaking Dawn, part one. And this one's on DVD. Um, I bought this at the second location. I ended up visiting three stores and um, I picked this up at the second location. Uh, Breaking Dawn Part 2, Twilight. And actually, a couple of days ago, I saw um, New, was it New Moon, the second one, in the uh, pawn shop, and I forgot to pick that up to complete the set. So. Uh, let's start off the Blu-rays here. I picked up Jingle All the Way Part 2 with Larry the Cable Guy uh, for a buck. My family likes these kind of movies, uh, so check that out. Uh, underrated movie, um, The Judge with uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Robert Duvall. Uh, he did this in between the Iron Man movies, and it's actually a decent story. I picked up uh, TMNT, the animated movie, didn't have it. And there are a few titles I did pass up. I didn't pick up uh, Turtles 3, Turtles in Time. I may pick those up in, in a future pickup or something if they have them left over. Uh, Veronica Mars with Christian Bell. Howard Lovecraft and the Undersea was it Undersea Kingdom with Mark Hamill uh, and Ron Perlman, Christopher Plummer. Definitely want to check that one out. Uh, Walking Phoenix and Inherent Vice. Uh, I remember when this came out, I never got a chance to check that out. Johnny Depp and Trans Transcendence. Eh, it's an okay movie. I've seen this. Um, starts off pretty interesting. Has a doesn't doesn't do well in the third act. It kind of loses its way, but it's not a bad, too bad a movie. Uh, an underrated film I think is uh, Focus with Will Smith and Margot Robbie. It's a solid title. Got Donnie Yen and Kung Fu Killer. can watch Donnie Yen in just about any movie. Bangkok Adrenaline. Um, I couldn't remember if I had this one or not, so I just picked it up. If I have it extra, I'll pass it along. The Gallows. In this go-around, there was quite a few horror titles in there. We got Steve Carell and uh, Jim Carrey and the Incredible Burt Wonderstone. I've only seen little bits and pieces of this. I've never seen it all the way through. And I went ahead, this is an upgrade, 300. I think I have it on DVD for a buck though. I'll pick it up. I haven't seen this, 300 Rise of the Kingdom, uh, Rise of the Empire. Bitch Slap Unrated. De Niro and Stallone in Grudge Match. I've never seen this, but I heard it's pretty good. Michael Caine and Jude Law in Sleuth. It's a movie I don't think I've ever even heard of. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones, Sheila, uh, Charlize Theron and Susan Sarandon, The Valley of Eli. And someone on, on YouTube has done a review of this and says it's a pretty excellent movie. Can check that out. 
let's see our brand is crisis this came out about two years ago we have wild cherry looks to be one of those kind of American pie type movies the demolisher this is put out by Raven Banner Films, I believe. We have Patrick Wilson, Ian McShane, Jim Belushi, Lynn Collins, and John Legazimo. The Hollow Point. Chow Young Fat, The Curse of the Golden Flower. Chain Letter, Monster Brawl, I took the sticker off the back of this one, it's a little sticky, Jack the Giant Slayer, 3D, has a the lenticular cover, uh, who's in this one, You is this the this one I'm thinking of I don't remember uh, I don't think I have seen this one uh, a classic movie the the mask of Zorro on blu-ray focus there we go let's see Tommy Lee Jones and Hillary Swank the homesman been finding a lot of straight to video Tommy Lee Jones titles uh, popping up at the Dollar Tree sales. Uh, some of the horror movies we have Pulse, The Hoarder with an embossed cover. The Last Circus, um, I picked up Catching Fire with the slipcover, again it's just an upgrade. Lance Herrickson, Hollows Grove. Lovely Molly. Again, this go around had quite a few horror titles. I was surprised. All Hallows Eve. Really surprised to find this one there. Devil's Whisper. Devil's Whisper, yes. Uh, Stephen Yin, I think is how you pronounce his name, from uh, Blake Glenn in The Walking Dead. His movie Mayhem from RLJ. All Cheerleaders Must Die. Another RLJ. The Evil In Us. Some RLJ and Raven Banner, I believe. Ripper 2. Is it the uh, letter from within? I haven't had a chance to open these yet. The Last Showing with Robert England. And I'm sure you all know who that is, so if you don't, you're watching the wrong channel. The Inheritance. The Device. Looks like a sci-fi thriller.
Severance. It's from Magnolia Pictures. Prisoner X. Roadkill. Let's see. The Grace Filled Incident. Looks like another sci fi thriller. June. A uh, splinter with a slip and a, an embossed slip there. The Neon Demon. I think this was on Blu-ray in some of the Dollar Trees, but I could never find it on Blu-ray, so I picked up the uh, DVD. Behemoth from Sci-Fi. Slip cover. The girl in the photographs. The summoning. We have Wakewood. Franklin, Phobia, uh, Tony Todd, Tracy Scoggins, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Werewolf Rising, an RLJ, Warm Bodies on Blu-ray with a slipcover, and uh, a series I used to watch growing up, The Hitcher, uh, The Hitchhiker on HBO. This contains 10 episodes. I'd really like to see a complete collection of this. I don't think there's one out, out there for the U.S. market. But you got Kirstie Alley, Gary Busey, Peter Cody, William Defoe, Helen Hunter, uh, Margot Kidder, Joe Palantinero. Paul, I can never pronounce that guy's name's right. He's in everything, though. He's a good actor. But anyways, this is a... A very good series. Um, very. This was uh, running before Tales of the Crypt came along. So that was it from uh, the Dollar Tree this time around. I ended up picking up 63 titles. Um, I could have picked up a few more. There's one or two things I did pass on, which I don't know why. I should have just went ahead and picked up for a dollar a piece. I mean, can't really go wrong. If it's not a great movie, you can pass it along to someone else or trade it in somewhere. So did you make it out to the Dollar Tree uh, for their Black Friday sale? If so, what'd you pick up? Comment down below, let me know. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the bell notification. I'm gonna try to get out some more videos. I took a little break there for some personal reasons. Uh, but I hope to come back and show you what I've picked up. Uh, I picked up a big box of collection movies. I I've hit the pawn shops when I could. And uh, I got some new stuff to show. Um, I did go to the Black Friday sales uh, just to Walmart. Um, I didn't bother with uh, Target or, or Best Buy. And uh, I did up hit Big Lots last week of November. But I'll show those in another video. So thanks for stopping by and sitting with me while we went through this, went through these uh, Dollar Tree movies. Like I said, uh, comment down below. Let me know what you got. Um, I know different areas got some different things. 
it always just seems to be that way um, if you're further east or further uh, west it seems like they get different boxes for some reason so thanks for stopping by let's go watch some movies and until next time Thank you.